Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will teach you on how to install Miranda Laravel Hotel and Resort Multilingual Booking System. Alright, so can you watch this video carefully so that you understand how I did this? And please, if you're a new member here, please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel so that anytime I post a video like this, it should be useful for you. Thank you. Alright, so now as you can see, you go to your your C panel, as you can see, on my C panel, you go to your fire manager. Go to your fire manager, you go to your publish HTML. As you can see, here is a script, here is a file now. So I'll be extracting it. You also extract it too. Alright, so let's just wait so that this script will be done extracting so that we can start the process. Please, if you need this script, can you message me on my WhatsApp number below? I'll be selling this script for a cheaper price. As you can see, it's $69 here. I'll be selling it for a cheaper price for you. So what you just need to do is just to message me there. I'll be ready for you at any time. And as you can see, this file has been done extracting. You just need to close it. And then the new folder here, you click on this new folder. You delete this because it had no use. Uh, let me just delete that because it had no use. Yes, all right. So you open this other folder. You now select all these, select all of them, and take take it to when you select all of them like this. When you select all of them like this. You know, oh my god, what's wrong with this? All right, when you select all of them like this. Now, you now take it to move it to publish HTML. Now, move it then. All right, so let's check if it's there. All right, as you can see, it has been moved successfully. Now, let's check if this our website has been live. Let's check if it has been live. All right, so as you can see, it has been live. Let's click on Let's Go. Click on Let's Go. I'm having some network issues. I'm having some network issues. Let's check it here. Alright, so as you can see, all my requestment is being complete. Alright, now, so what you have to do here now is to put your database. What you have to put here your name, the name of your company. Yeah, you put local host. Then here, let's go to create a database. Now let's create the database. You put anything there on your choice. You put UK, UK. I have a password to so put in your password and make sure you save your password in a safe note. As you can see, I saved my own on the safe note, so let me paste it. All right, let me paste it, then create you there. Create 
changes, the changes. I just can see, let's copy this username. Let's copy this username. Let's check it there. Remember the username and the username, the database name and the database username is the same, is the same thing. So you put in your password. Here's my password. Paste. Now let's go back. Because I know it will not work. Let's go back to Fire Manager. And download this. Download this file here. Download your database SQL. Then you go back. You go to my PHP my admin. There you go to here. Yeah. Okay, okay. Make sure the database you're doing this too. Then you upload the file that we just downloaded. And you import it. After importing this, you go back and everything is complete. You go back and click on install. Now you put your name, let me just put this, put your password, put your password, you say activate license, you put in your username that you use and bought, get it from code can you or any voter. So you click on activate license. Alright, as you can see, you go to your admin dashboard. As you can see, this website has been successfully been installed. Thank you for your time. May God bless you. Alright, for those, thank you, thank you. God bless you.